hello friends i am really glad for god to bless us and be with us and i'm praying that you know with this with this camp we are praying and we are building this aim of getting the right prayers in actions getting the right words in faith full of faith and today we'll be looking at some scriptures quickly to see what the lord is sharing with us let us quickly turn to hebrews chapter 10 verse 36 you know hebrews chapter 10 verse 36 says for you have need of endurance so that after you have done the will of god you may receive the promise right many a times when we start to you know pray we don't realize this but we need god's blessings we need god's endurance we need we need to understand what god's will is and once we are able to understand god's will we are able to go and step into the promise and i want to tell you this that you know when we are praying friends we need to speak the right words and we need to pray the right prayer but the way that we start praying the right prayers is by first getting into the word of god recognizing and understanding and acknowledging the will of god and once we are able to once we have spent time in the word of god once we have understood the will of god then we go in the way of the lord and that is praying and praying is something that needs to be held on through the words that is the word of god through the right belief speaking and praying need to be aligned to each other what i speak what we speak during the day and what we pray during the day needs to be aligned if at all they are not aligned if i'm praying for something but i'm speaking it differently then my words are not in alignment my spirit is not in alignment friends we know that our body is just a shell but we are a spirit and we have a soul so whatever we speak we speak it with our spirit we speak it with with what we have on the inside and we speak it also with belief what we believe we speak and same way when we confess our speaking our speech is nothing but confession of our spirit and when we start confessing and when we start praying both of these things need to be aligned together if they are not aligned together we will not be able to see the kind of answers that we need in prayer so if i if i am needing something or if i want something i need to speak it out and i need to pray it out that is the reason why agreement in our daily speech and prayer is so necessary and i want to say this that control what comes out from your mouth control what comes out from your mouth because your mouth is is a is the gateway to usher in authority and we saw that authority is what comes in when when we spend time in the word of god when we recognize that we are the child of god when we align ourselves with god's word and god's will we get authority and that authority my friends needs to be controlled by what we speak by what we pray and our prayer works because of the faith within us but that faith cannot just be at the level at, at which it was yesterday it needs to increase and if it needs to increase it needs to hear god's word it's like if faith is like a fire then the word of god is the fuel if faith is like the fire then the word of god is the fuel and for the fire to keep burning brighter and brighter we need to have more of the fuel more of the word of god and more of the word of god the more the fire will increase the more it will be kindled and it will continue to keep growing in fact i would kindle it i would say it much more that if faith is what runs you the word of god is the oil that clean cleanses you and that keeps you running cleaner that keeps you running smoother and meditating upon the word of god and praying in the word of god is something that will increase your faith let me also tell you just praying just just saying words out will not increase your faith your faith will be increased by the word of god the word of god is going to bless you and increase your faith but if you do not spend time in the word of god you praying expecting answers will only go so much as the faith that you had without reading the word of god so if you want your prayers to be powerful spend time in the word of god when you take the word of god as your portion your faith will increase and your praying will see results and now faith is the evidence of the answer to the prayer so when we start to pray when we start to spend time in praying we need to understand that faith is the exact evidence of the answer that we are praying for and it has to be received in the spirit first and then only it will manifest in the natural to give you an example 
when God said, let there be light in Genesis, there wasn't any light. But God, with his authority, spoke the world into existence. That's why from what is unseen came what is seen. And that is something, that is a principle that even you and I are working in. And that is a spiritual law. It is a spiritual, it is a spiritual law based on the word of God. That when we pray, when we speak the word, it, both of them needs to be in agreement. Both of them need to be aligned. Our spirit need to believe what we speak, not just in the natural, but also praying in the spiritual. Friends, the physical evidence was made manifest just like in the story of the creation same way even for us when we pray we cannot only rely on the physical evidence and keep checking oh has my prayer been answered or am i going to get answer to my praying no first and foremost spend time in the word of god build up on your faith continue to keep building up on the faith and when your faith has reached a level where you can easily speak out and ask and confess with your mouth that is exactly when you start praying and when you pray don't pray vain repetitions is what we saw last time when we speak what we speak has power and using that in in praying brings everything else into motion it sets everything else into motion praying is like setting the spiritual resources of god in motion from heaven here on earth and that is why irrespective of the situation whether the situation will become worse whether the situation will become better continue to pray continue to strive continue to persevere in praying and when you are praying continue to have the word of god with you continue to believe and in praying be ready to receive when you pray you're not just asking but you're also preparing your heart to receive that's why i say the moment you get up from praying be ready to receive the moment you get up from praying be ready to receive this is the reason being we need to pray because we know that god hears our praying when God hears what we petition and when we believe in him that he's our father in heaven and he doesn't want us to not have the things that 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 are already ours through the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ, we need to hold fast to our confession of faith in praying. In, in that, we need to understand that our praying continues to build the faith for our spirit. And God does not hear because of our vain repetitions, but he continues to acknowledge our perseverance. When we persevere in praying, when we persevere in praying, He acknowledges that and it is faith that moves God. It is faith that moves God and that is the reason why God's word given to us in the form of the Bible is the very key to unlock the door of faith in praying that we may enter it and we may pursue it. And I also want to tell you, we need to know more about the law the spiritual law of sowing and reaping just like in the physical sowing and reaping also is applicable in the spiritual if i want a deliverance in say next year january then i cannot start praying at the end of december it is better for me to start praying right now in the month of november so that i get a deliverance in january and so that it may even come a little earlier. But what I'm trying to say is this. If you understand the law of sowing and reaping, it, there is a process. And that process needs perseverance. That process needs patience. Which means we need to sow right in the right season so that we reap in the right season. And that is the reason why our prayers need, need planning. Our prayers need a little bit of management where if I need to have something in in the next year, middle of next year, I need to start sowing it right now. And the earlier I sow it, the earlier I receive it. And that is exactly what praying is all about. Just because I did not receive my answer to my last year's prayer does not mean I will not pray this year. And that even does not mean I will not go into praying, wondering and hoping whether my prayers will be answered or not. Friends, Every single time when Jesus said that you will reap what you sow and even in praying when we will reap what we sow. I want to take you to another scripture and that is this Mark chapter 11 verse 23 to 24. We have read this and I just want to say from here that when the verse says, For assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, 
be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart but believes that those things he says will be done he will have whatever he says now here in this verse verse 23 jesus does not mention the word pray he is speaking of a spiritual principle of speech of our confession of our faith this is a faith principle friends so when we speak to the mountain and say be removed and be cast into the sea that is faith because it says does not doubt in his heart but believes that those things which he says will be done he will have whatever he says now when we apply this into praying jesus says therefore why is he using the word therefore he's using the word therefore is because he's trying to teach us and tell us that your words have power when you are able to speak to the mountain and and have it cast out into the sea without doubt but with faith you will get what you have asked for same ways whatever things you ask in praying believing that you receive them you will have them we try to apply it the other way around we try to we try to believe in praying and then we wonder why it has not happened but i will tell you that faith even works in the natural when we are able to move mountains and that is the reason why jesus says because faith works in the natural you can also make it work in the supernatural you can also make it work in the spiritual from the physical to the spiritual friends it's the same thing whatever is applicable in the physical is also applicable in the spiritual and that is why this verse says that whatever you say whatever you things you ask these two things whosoever and whatever friends we need to understand that our praying and our speaking needs to go together and i want to go to the go to the next two verses from mark chapter 11 verse 24 is 25 and 26 mark chapter 11 verses 25 and 26 here jesus is talking about praying but he is also adding another variable and that is forgiveness and he says whenever you stand praying that does not mean that this was does not apply when you're kneeling or or you're play, praying lying down but whenever you're praying if any of you has anything against anybody forgive them so that your father in heaven may also forgive you so that your father in heaven will also forgive you your trespasses what it's saying is any single time you go into praying you will need to remove unforgiveness from your heart you need to forgive that person anybody it doesn't mean your just your brother or your family member or anybody it means anyone anyone if you have anything against anyone when you are praying the father in heaven needs to have you come with a clean slate so that there will be nothing wrong in your heart there will be no pang so there will be no unforgiveness in your heart so that in verse 26 it says but if you do not forgive neither will your father in heaven forgive you your trespasses and i was wondering why does this and what does it have to do with praying see when we pray we ask our father to do something for us and that is the reason why we approach him in praying we're not just acting out on faith we're also praying and petitioning and there's a prayer of dedication there's a prayer of petition and dedication there are other kinds of praying friends when we come into praying we are not praying to just somebody who's hearing we are praying to our father so even when we come in faith even when we have patience and perseverance we are coming to him and he has forgiven us our sins he has already done that on the cross through his son jesus christ so when he has forgiven us our sins we can no longer hold anything against anybody and we need to forgive them even though they have done wrong just as our father forgave us when we did wrong and because of that principle when we approach in praying let our unforgiveness not become a hindrance to our prayer life i want to say this our our prayer life should not be hindered the answers to our prayer should not be hindered because of our unforgiveness and that is the reason friends i want to say this when you understand the law of sowing and reaping do not let unforgiveness block god's blessings on your life because unforgiveness will only hinder and will not hinder your faith and hinder and anything that hinders your faith 
will end up not producing the results in praying because your praying needs to be full of faith. And friends, I also realized one thing when when you're praying and when we were meditating. You now to read this verse in Matthew chapter six, verse ten, verses nine to ten. Jesus says, "In this manner, therefore, you will pray: Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven." I want you to focus on the verse ten, which says, "Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven." And when I was meditating upon this, what is God's will for our life here on earth? It is the same to replicate it as it is in heaven. And the same thing is in heaven there is no sickness. In heaven there is no disease. In heaven there is no poverty. In heaven there is no hunger. In heaven there is no thirst. So when we come to praying, and when we come to praying for our people, for our friends, for our neighbors, for our family members, for our church members. We cannot doubt that God doesn't want to heal this person, or we cannot come wondering whether does God want to heal this person. See, when we come into praying, and when we say the Our Father, we pray that His will be done here, just like it is on in heaven. And if heaven has no sickness, no diseases, no poverty, no hunger, no thirst, then the same thing needs to also be done here on earth, because that is exactly what God's will is. And if that would not have been God's will, then Jesus would not have told us. To break the chains, break the bondages, set the captives free, friends. In heaven, there is freedom, and the same freedom is are going to be our portion when we exercise the same will to the very authority that gifting that God has given us here in the natural or not. That's why I tell you, when we pray for anybody, we need to believe that that person not just requires healing, but that person is supposed to walk in the abundant life. Because Satan just comes to steal and to kill and to destroy, but Jesus came so that we may have life. Jesus came so that each one of us, you and I, will have life, and not just live because of the sake of living or existing for that matter, but we will live an abundant life. We will live an abundant life. In fact, the verse says, "And that they may have it more abundantly." In John chapter ten, verse ten, it says that. I have come that they may have life, and that they may have it more abundantly. And this is amazing because we not just are called to live life, but we are called to live abundantly. And what's more, we are called to live a life more abundantly than what than what we are living. Which actually means that many a times we go through trials, many a times we go through hardships, many a times we go through a testing. But the verse says, the verse in James chapter one verse. Two and three says, "Hey, my brothers, count it all joy when you fall into various trials and into various trials and testing, because knowing, see, when you fall into trials, you need to have knowledge that this testing of your faith will only produce patience. Some people teach it wrong. They say, 'Oh, your faith will get perfect.' But if your faith will get perfect, we all are going through trials. Then all of our faith should be perfect." But what the verse is is saying that knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience, and I want to dwell a little bit out here. Patience is something that is very vital to us. We saw that faith is important for praying, but I will tell you when we get into trials, our faith get tested. But when our faith get tested, patience is produced. In trials, our faith get tested. And it produces patience. Now, patience is nothing but like the bedrock of stability for the pillars of faith against the waves of the trials of testing. It's like building a bridge across the across the sea or across the river, and there is continuous flow of water, and that pillar needs to have 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 a foundation. That pillar is what I would call faith, but the foundation and the bedrock is patience. So when the waves come, when when the river flows in its full force, the pillars get tested, the faith gets tested. But it is the stability of the bedrock of patience that holds the pillar of faith together, so that we may be able to stand during the trials, during the testing. And friends, I don't want to close in this, and I don't want, I don't want to close that when we start praying, when we start asking the Lord. We need to build on that endurance that we may be able to do the will of God and receive the promise. And I pray that God has 
been blessing you through this prayer camp and i pray and this is my prayer friends that as you continue to meditate in the word of god be ready to receive by faith and let the prayer of faith bring you the deliverance that you are seeking so that you may be able to combine the principle of faith in praying and also the and build on the fruit of fruit of patience so that you are able to pray not just in the physical but also operate in the spiritual realm and you will be able to continue to grow your spiritual being i pray this prayer that you continue to be blessed and in these days of 30 days in november i pray that you may continue to build your prayer life you may continue to stand on on the faith to the word of god meditating on his word and knowing his will and continuing to be living a more abundant life this i pray in the name of the lord jesus christ amen let's say the lord's prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be your name thy kingdom come thy will be done here on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen amen Take care God bless you God be with you wherever you go be a blessing be a child of faith be a child of patience that your faith may be tested and you may walk in patience I pray this prayer in his name take care see you tomorrow bye bye